everybody, and welcome to yet another episode of Seeking Shamblers! Yay! So this time around, we're at checkout a level that's going to be called Dave's Graves! Yeah! What a awesome rhyming Dr. Susian type level! Do you feel calm? Do you feel comfy? Do you feel happy? I hope so, because get- Hold on to your horses! Hold on to your butts! We're doing Dave's Graves! And Dave's Graves is Dave's Graves! By the time you're done with your map, you're so sick of it, you never want to play it! <laughs> um, so yeah, this map was made with the shareware version of Worldcraft. He's playing there registering! So, um, yeah, this is actually a level made with Worldcraft. Which, I don't think we've actually seen many levels created for, which is rather curious, because Worldcraft is probably one of the biggest editors of them all, um, when it comes to, um, Quake. If you're talking about one of the significant historical, um, uh, level editors or whatnot when you're coming to Quake, you're really talking, um, Worldcraft. And so, yeah, really, like, we haven't seen too, too many levels. We're starting to see some, um... We're up to six levels now, actually, with it, so that's something. We're, we actually are getting something. Uh, but yeah, we still could use a bit more before we actually, like, get our own little category for it. That would be nice when we actually get category, like, Worldcraft levels. That would be nice. Um, and let's see here. They're saying these are the art. D R two wait is it R two D two side quests? Um, uh, it's R D R two side quests. That's that's rather curious. Hooray! I I think we I think we kind of managed to mess up the most basic attached. Well, that's exciting. Anyway, let's see here. Build time forever. This was my first one, so leave me alone. Um. So yeah. It's totally single-player based. That's basically the entire thing of it. Um, he wants to try it, but he hasn't yet. Um, so, needless to say, I'm, I don't think Deathmatch is actually supported. Yeah, I, I don't think. Um, yeah, there's no Deathmatch in here. It's totally single-player based. Um, actually, no, there is Info-Player Deathmatch, so there is a Deathmatch spawn. Um, yeah, there are deathmatch spawns, so there is support for deathmatch. Even though he says natch, there is support for deathmatch, so it is a campaign level, which is making us really freaking confusing. Why do we have a level that has deathmatch in it that he says natch? That, that, that means no, right? Which means, natch means no, right? I, I'm pretty sure natch means no, right? Um, what does natch mean? Oh, naturally. Never mind! I have no idea what I was talking about. I thought that meant no. Never mind, so he has single player death, uh, um, single player death match. Um, so yeah, basically every type of game mode supported. You can play this level, you'll be able to shoot some enemies in it, then you get to play death match in there. Freaking amazing. Anyway, the long distances sometimes cause brushes to drop out. Now try to keep that in mind on his net map. Um, so if you want to mess with it, he could the map file. It's got a leak, but he can't find it. The PRT file is a blank, so it's no help. He also can't do a this. Uh, maybe because of the leak? I don't know. Anyway, this is made by David Nickerson, also known as Davin. I, I don't know why you would even say David, because that's a really, really generic name, but you could have just said David Nickerson and we'd be good, but okay. Let's load up the level. Let's load up the thing. What God's name level am I playing? I forget the name of it now. It's Dave's Graves, but how? What God's name is a file name? Play thing in file names? Oh, it's just D Grave. Okay, that's a simple one to remember. Luckily, this is one that won't confuse me, hopefully, when it comes to names. Hooray! A name and scheme I can work with! And we have the Epic Quake theme, aka the only music you'll ever hear in a Quake level. In the custom ones. And things are trying to murder me already. 36 enemies, a lot of visual issues. And spooky tombstones. Oh my god, are those tombstones so spooky. Yeah, this is very headset like, and it's kind of like a castle like atmosphere, has a wide area around it. Um, graves. Might seem like E2M sits in its like, lost area or something. 
Anyway, look at that visual glitches! Hooray! Two seconds into it and we're already having bugs. That's, that, that's exciting, right? Okay, I think this is the enemy. Oh god, maybe I feel more than I can chew. Okay, we need to kill him. There we are. At least he's dead. Good news, he's dead. Bad news, I don't know where any guns are. The living dead! The living dead in there, and I have no guns! Where are the bloody guns? That could help me a lot. I have no ammo whatsoever. I think that's some enemies up ahead, too. Play game. I have no guns. No ammo whatsoever. Okay, I'm not sure what that's up there. Oh, goody. G grunts. Let's try and, like, lure him back here if I can. Or, like... Oh, God! What the? Okay, Ogre Marksman! Ambushing am Ogre Marksman. Where are God's name? Did okay. I guess it's because he was totally deadly silent. Silent, but deadly. So, listen to him today. This map has a bunch of enemies and no guns. At least no guns today in a convenient area. So first important thing we is we want to go this way just to get a few grunts dead and also to get a bit of ammo. That is definitely part of it. Okay, good enough. So now we're over here. I have gained like nothing really out of that. I see a fiend in there. I see another fiend up there. This is a horrible level! There's no guns! This is evil! What type of level is this? This is making me run around the entire map without any weapons whatsoever! Oh, the humanity of it all. Honestly, I should wonder if I should just run around and try and get a bunch of stuff to infight, because that's really my only hope. Like, look at this, I have no guns again. I have one shot, one health. Yeah, I'm kind of lost for hope. Oh, look, it's all the guns! Quick, to the rocket launcher! Hope not to die in the meantime! Okay, now we gotta play sniper of all these zombies. Anything which gives me some breathing room. All right, so we got some breathing room finally, and we got some rockets. Okay, up there. There we are, one more dead. What's in here? A gun. Okay, a quad damage too. I have like no ammo whatsoever. I have six shells and four rockets, but I have a quad damage. Okay, let's see if I can like quad a fiend or something. Let's try and use the firewall so I can like just move over there. Okay. Dark, the fiend moved. Okay, we want to kill that fiend, and we want to move quickly over here so we can kill another fiend. Brilliant! Okay, we killed two fiends! Okay. That's something. We used to kill two fiends. So we got 20 of the enemies dead. That, that's something. Now I just need to wonder what that something was. And, um, how exactly am I getting more guns? Okay, so we have a grave in here. I'm not sure where this leads. Probably the certain death. I really don't have any clues. Okay, the elevator just lifts me back up. That's pretty useless. Okay, but I can land. And there's some health. Brilliant. Okay, that's something. If I look this way, look around, and... Hmm. 
Me no likey this corridor. There's shamblers, there's plenty of enemies. Yeah, I don't like this corridor. To get a Thunderbolt, not worth it. Not worth it when I'm having 20 sets out. We need to find somewhere else to go. Yeah, I'm playing right now Surgeon. I'm trying to figure out where exactly I can go without dying. With my little skippy amounts of ammo. Okay, so that looks like certain death all around there. Yep, totally. Look at all the graphical glitches. Look at this. This is rather horrible graphically, people. Look at look at this. Well, I guess I can see where all the enemies are. I I, I kind of get that one. Now let's see here. Let's head upstairs. Oh god, this is not going well. Four more grunts and well. Okay, that killed all four grunts, luckily. I had to do that. It, w it was worth it to get my shells. Oh look, plenty of shells too. Well, that was a wise move on my part. Kill the grunts to get the shells. I really, that's part of it too, is the visual issues to make it so I can't see pickups. So that means there could be more on the ground that I don't even see. Okay, let's get a ring of shadows. That might help. Trying to survive this all. Quick up here. Quick, more forward, quickly. Looks like I killed everything here. It's just the guys downstairs. Brilliant, some health. I'm not about to die. I have just shells. I don't have really any other weaponry whatsoever. But I'm not about to die. And that is the positive. I mean, I can't just die because nothing can just kill me, but... You know what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm trying to say I actually have a chance. Which is more than I could have. That looks like the way forward. I'm trying to see if there's, like, anything on these pews or anything. Like, this is a wide open area to have nothing. Oh, look, 100 health. Okay, so we got 100 freaking health. That's something. Sounds like there's a teleporter somewhere around here. Of course, that could be downstairs. That could be like the exit teleporter or something. Oh, look, a super nail gun. Am I glad I came this way? The super nail gun will help a lot with dealing with that um, shambler. And the shells will be useful for wiping out basically everyone else. Um, so yeah, th this definitely helped a lot. <laughs> I think I'm kind of getting a good strategy going here at least. At least it's something. It's a hope. And that's what I need at the moment, is hope. I bereave in myself, people. I bereave in myself. Do you bereave in yourself? No. I don't know if there's a level that's there, if it's just gonna loop around. Maybe that's what the teleporter's are. Oh god, it looks like this is deadly. I don't like this area. But it looks like this is a one way, so I can't really choose where I go. Beggars can't be choosers. I don't trust dropping down because there might be another guy down there, like the Shambler. I'd rather get pot shot a little bit and endure it than... Oh, I fell down. Oh well, there's nothing down here anyway. I was being overcautious. Okay, there's the Shambler down there. Okay, we don't want to go that way. Let's go this way, I guess. This is one really giant dark area. I can't even see what I'm doing. Well, this is totally useless. A giant dark area, everybody! Hope you appreciate it. Okay, time for the fun part. We need to kill the Shambler.
Now for the fun part, the shambler. And there we are, just with the right amount of ammo, we killed the shambler. And there we are, 100% completion, everything is dead. Thank God, we did it. Okay, we got the Thunderbolt, which is totally useless because I just killed everybody. Yeah, that, that kind of makes no sense when there's a ship or kind of right in front of it. But yeah, that's the way back if I want to go back. I was already down there, so there's nothing really for me to go down and check out. And I guess this is the exit. I guess. Dave's Graves. Well, this is it, that's it. This is a totally pointless teleporter. It just led me back to where I was. Well, I guess that's the lesson today. There is um, no exit. Either or it just went in a circle. Is there an exit from this level? I don't think there is now. I was assuming there was, but I don't think so. I don't think there's an Ed's Ed. I mean, it looks like a level that should have an Ed's Ed, but I'm not seeing one. Let's see here. I'm, I'm going to dig through the file. I just want to see if there's a change level function or something that tells me there's an Ed's Ed. If there is, I'll hunt for it. If there's not, then there's no point. You know, I don't want to pull um, hunting for uh, in a Q2 base level. You know, kind of snapped, but I think there's nothing, yeah. There's nothing here. There's no exit from the level, people. It, it can be greatly said, and yes, it's weird. There's ogres and there's ogre marksmen in this one level. It's really, really weird how that happens. You know, there's the two ogres, and then there's the ogre marksmen. So if you wanted to have an ogre and an ogre marksman the same level, this is the level for you, because it has both, oddly enough. But yeah, there's no trigger change level or anything like that whatsoever. It's a really, really basic level when it comes to um, functions and all that. Um, just kind of fancy in the fact of, you know, the exploration route. But yeah, there's nothing really to do. You just wander around, you kill a shambler, you try and not die. So you see, it can be rather fun not uh, dying. But uh, other than that, really just a lot of visual issues. I think a lot of these will be fixed up somewhat when I do in Geoquake. I think Geoquake has like a longer draw distance, so these type of issues won't occur. Um, but I guess I'll see when I get to Geoquake. You'll see in like um, the Quake Wikia video exactly how well it looks um, when you translate it to Geoquake. Here, it's really, really terrible looking because of the wide, wide distances. And this is exactly what exactly people were um, doing in 1990s. This is how you have seen the level. This is what it was kind of designed for. And this is kind of the effects you end up hap having happen. So needless to say, if Geoquake does fit it, it's more luck that kind of does, as opposed to it, you know, being a good thing that really happened. Because, as you see, he didn't really design this level to really fit the Quake specifications well. Um, but it is a nice little church, I guess you could say. It looks like some sort of evil church altar. Um, there's really not much to the level. I'm not really sure what it, like I said, it's like a graveyard with a church around it, basically. But, it, it's a nice little, um, level. Definitely brings back, uh, memories of, like, say, uh, E4M3 or something like that. A graveyard. Anyway, there's really not much more to say here. It's a very basic level. Thank you all for watching. It's been the adventure, and I shall see you all next time. Let's... Let's get out of it first. See you all next time.